This is CBS 2 News at 5. I need to move. I need to have a job. We are asking for help. We need your help. Right now at 5, hundreds of migrants flood City Hall simply asking for help. They say they're willing to work, but there's too much standing in their way. Plus, halfway to a jury, the progress made on day two of the criminal trial of former President Donald Trump and what we know about the people sworn in. And homes destroyed by a fire in New Jersey. More than 30 people now have nowhere to live. The investigation into the cause of it. A health warning about counterfeit Botox. Bad reactions have been reported in the tri-state area. What you need to know. Good evening. I'm Christine Johnson. And I'm Doug Williams in for Maurice Dubois tonight. First, we begin with breaking news in Brooklyn, where an eight year old child has died after being hit by a car. CBS 2's Naveen Dolly, while live now in Williamsburg for us with the very latest. Naveen. Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News. And four people were arrested for disrupting that event. They'll be charged with criminal trespass and disorderly conduct. Mayor Adams later downplayed any potential threat to his personal safety and said he does not consider it a security breach. Still ahead, some new measures aimed at protecting airline passengers. We'll have a look at what's being proposed. And climate-based extinction threatens more than a million species here on Earth. The work being done to investigate and battle this existential problem. Plus, officers pack a courtroom as one of the men charged in the fatal shooting of NYPD detective Jonathan Diller faces a judge. Right now at 5.30, a suspect arraigned in the deadly shooting of Detective Jonathan Diller. The plea in court today and how NYPD officers are reacting. And the Supreme Court hearing arguments on a statute used to prosecute January 6th defendants. The consequences the case could have in one of Donald Trump's legal battles. Good evening, I'm Doug Williams in for Maurice tonight. Welcome back, I'm Christine Johnson and one of the two suspects charged in the murder of NYPD detective Jonathan Diller was arraigned today. Diller was just 31 years old, a husband, a father. He was killed during a traffic stop last month. Dozens of officers showed up in court today to show support and CBS 2's Lisa Rosner reports from Queens Criminal Court. Lindy. If he wore a size 11 like me, I was going to hit him up for a couple pair of those shoes. I mean, the guy can't wear them all at one time. Now, the first time I met Anthony was in Cleveland during last year's playoffs against the Cavaliers. So he travels and he expects to do that as much as they will be alive this postseason. Knicks fans are different. Otis. <laughs> and by the way, I always say this time of the year is different in New York City when the Knicks are good, when yeah. the Knicks are in it. And they it have a great team this year. It's certainly a buzz there. And they earned that number two seed, so they have a lot to be confident about. They either play Philadelphia or Miami in the first round, so we'll see. That was a great story, Otis. Thank thanks. you. Uh, thanks for watching. The News at 5 on CBS2 and streaming on CBS News New York. The News at 6 starts right now.